How easily happiness begins by dicing onions. A lump of sweet butter slithers and swirls across the floor of the saute pan, especially if its errant path crosses a tiny slick of olive oil, then a tumble of onions. This can mean soup, or risotto, or chutney, from the Sanskrit chutney to lick. Slowly the onions go limp, and then nacreous, and then what cookbooks call clear, though they were eyes you could see, clearly the cataracts in them. It's true, it can make you weep to peel them, to unfurl and to tease from the taunt ball from the brittle, caramel-colored and decrepit papery outside layer. The least recent, the reticent onion, wrapped around its growing body. For there's nothing to an onion but skin, and it's true, you can go on weeping as you go on in, though the moist metal skins, the sweetest and thickest, and you can go on into the core, to the bud-like acrid fibrous skins, densely clustered there, stalky and incomplete, and these are the most pungent, like the nuggets of nightmare. and rage, and memory animal comfort that infant humans secrete. This is the best domestic perfume. You sit down to eat with the rumor of onions, still in your twice-washed hands, and lift to your mouth a hint of a story about loam and usual endurance. It's there when you clean up, and rinse the wine glasses, and make a joke and you leave the minutest whiff of it on the light switch later, when you climb the stairs. Yeah.